forces of Earthrealm were facing their greatest challenge. Yeah! Damned right! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Patron Cast Plays. I'm Razor. Joining me in multiplayer is Shad. Smokeman is here too, and this is Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. <laughs> it is a day long in coming. We have wanted to do this for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I know you turned down the volume, but it's still so fucking loud. This this cutscene was always loud. This is the loudest thing in any Mortal Kombat game I've ever played. <laughs> Aw, oh, Shang looks so good. Everything looks so good. Yeah. Why couldn't, why couldn't the outfits in so 9 just be these outfits, man? Why did they... Like, look, look at Shang. He's in the right robes, man. He's wearing purple, though, not blue. It's... It bugged me back in the day, too, but I also like this on him. It's a good player, too, color. It's indigo. It's not purple it's purple. purple. It's a bluish it's... purple. It's fine. It's, it's fine. That is the exact same stomp move he does as Ermac in Armageddon. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I love the announcer bit. Like it's yep, just movie. straight up right out of MK2. <laughs> it is actually impossible to talk about all the things that we find cool happening here. Honestly, if, I just... was making, if I was making a Mortal Kombat film or remake game, Every character's first scene, the first moment they come on screen, the announcer would say their name to the audience. Yep. <laughs> That's how I would do it. They all get the reptile moment. God, the music's good, the fighting's amazing. I love I love the clever bit of how they have Shang do the toasty so that they can get the toasty into the cutscene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reptile's most awesome form right here in this game. <laughs> Yeah, look, uh, I know there are people out there who like him being able to transform into a human. That was never me. Never wanted that. I don't go for that. I like the back and forth, the in-between. Yeah, yeah, the- he's supposed to be- so he's supposed to be a lizard man, like his MK4 and Shaolin Monk's form is his true form, and then he, like, disguises himself as a human ninja. So the question is, how does he do it? Does he magically shapeshift? Which is not a lizard power, that's just wizardry. Uh, does he skin somebody and wear their skin like Buffalo Bill? That's an option. Oh no! Accept it, <laughs> but it's a little over the top gory and edgelordy for me. I mean, this very this very game gives us an alternate yeah. outfit in, Pia two, in Player 2, where he's yeah. just shading his skin. Peach, human color. Yeah, it's, it's just a palette swap. He's using the skin color changing powers of a chameleon, which is a lizard ability that fits in with the rest of his abilities, like the log tongue and the spitting acid. I don't know if there's any lizards that really spit acid, but like the Jurassic Park Dionychus is probably where they got that from, you know? Anyway. I wanted to point out that um, that throw that Goro does was brought back in nine. That's true. Yeah, yeah. True. So a lot of things just happened, and as those of you who follow the old MK games will remember, this is not exactly a straight retelling of MK2. No, it's it takes some liberties. It's not canon. Some. This is about as accurate as the story gets right here. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, honestly, that opening was pretty accurate to the original lore. The The actual story of Mortal Kombat 1 at the end of the tournament is... The tournament ends when Liu beats Goro. That's that's where he actually wins. But Shang gets salty and it was, is like... Uh, Liu wants to challenge him because he wants to kick Shang out of the referee position because the Shaolin used to be in charge of running the tournament. And Shang kind of took over in nefarious ways, and Liu wants to boot him out of the ref seat. So he challenges him after he beats Goro as, like, a, an extracurricular fight. It's not really part of the tournament. But and he... Shang, 
But Shang, Salty that Goro lost also starts an earthquake on the island and everybody has to get the fuck out or die. That, that much is accurate. Yeah, yeah. And for the benefit of everyone watching now, uh, Razor, our main host and intro man, yeah, will yeah. will be playing uh, the role of Liu Kang. I love I love this this stance here, this this walk, the Jeet Kune Do walk yeah. is hilarious to me. Razor gets the immortal Mortal champion style. of Mortal Kombat, Liu Kang, yeah, his I'm, favorite I'm character, monkey style. <laughs> and because we live in a godless and unforgiving universe, I get stuck with Du Lao. <laughs> hey. Hey, he has the best combo potential, all right? <laughs> I would have been perfectly fine playing Kung Lao, but you you generously insisted that I be Liu Kang. It's only you, right. He's your favorite character. He's not you, my favorite. Sub-Zero's my favorite Kung character. Lao way too much. <laughs> no, I didn't used to, but this is the game where he started to become douche yeah, Lao. Yeah, this is actually where his personality is the worst written. Um. Okay. Yes, Hello. sir. So, uh, on one of the walkthroughs I got here, the first secret is going to be, uh... Yeah, we have to throw, throw, a, throw one of these stuff. guys into... Yeah, it's not there. We should it's this one here. Yeah, every single room in the game has a secret hidden somewhere. And they are, uh, found... There you go. These red yin -yang and most of them just give you concept art. But some of them give you uh, unlockable characters for the versus mode. Some of them give you stages for the versus mode. Some of them tell you uh, the inputs for fatalities. Which is a, an interesting thing. Uh, in a few rooms, we're going to unlock the ability to do fatalities. Uh, every single fatality is available from the start, but they don't tell you how to do more than one, so you have to kind of figure it out, like the old arcade days, just to uh, guess the inputs. <laughs> yes, yes. Attacks while running. I, I imagine. Slide. Slide. And, uh, this is, of course, the first time that uh, Lao has ever worn this costume here. Yes. It's it's ostensibly uh, a remake of the MK2 outfit, but it's more like his Deadly Alliance alternate, honestly. It's not, it's not perfect as a MK2 remake. But... I mean, it's definitely one where they've Still taken longer. taken some... They've embellished quite a bit, and it it, it is a nice-looking outfit. I rather but, like it. If you wanted him to just be, like, in blue monk's robes with a black apron over top, it's not bad. <laughs> now, the, the mechanic of this game is that it doesn't matter how long a combo you do, you only get the points for it, you only collect the XP when the, the monster dies. So we're, we're somewhat suboptimal here. <laughs> We'll try our hardest. Yeah, yeah, this is not going to be a speed run like you'll see Ketchup and Mustard doing, where they've they've worked out the perfect goddamn combos with Scorpion and Sub-Zero, where it's just volleyball spiking them off the ground over and over again. Oh god, are we going to do another run-through with Scorpion and Sub? I mean, we should. I don't, I don't think... I mean, we could... We could see their moves in versus mode if we really want to, because, like... All the cutscenes are exactly the same when you're playing as Scorpion and Sub. They they speak in Liu Kang and Kung Lao's voices. <laughs> they just they're just ends. Now I'm standing over here. I like it. you can attack in multiple directions at any time. That needs a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty cool to be very fair. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's a bit cutscene. I swear to God, I'm still trying to play this like this is Armageddon and I'm doing Taven's combos. I'm going light, light, knock up, fierce, and it doesn't work. 
Now, see this yin yang way up here. We can't get that right now. Maybe a way I could do combo a guy up there, but it's. There is a way you can get it right now. Uh, you have to launch a guy yeah. in the air and then, like, jump up and then do an air throw. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, I remember that now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to figure that one out. That sounds like bullshit. Hmm. We, here's the thing, is that the entire game you can return to anywhere you've already been and come back for these things, so when we get the double jump late in the game, we'll have to come back to Shang's Island. Because this is not the only Yin Yang that's way up on the fucking ceiling. Yeah, there's a few of those. There we go. Enemies have quite the life bar in this game. Yeah, yeah, it takes a, a little bit of doing. But uh, that's not so bad, because it's, uh, it's, it's fun. I threw a skull at him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Goddamn! <laughs> yeah, yeah, with certain things, if your last hit on a guy is a is a weapon or Kung Lao's hat, they will be dismembered. Yep. Like the the MK2 hat throw decapitation is not a is not a fatality, but it'll happen automatically. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, God, the atmosphere, the environment, oh. it all just feels so right. Yeah, yeah, it looks nice. Remember remember this pit? The real pit? <laughs> when they didn't try to convince you that pit 2 was on Shang's Island, even though the background is clearly, like, there's no fucking water back there? Yeah, starting with Armageddon, they just started clustering MK1 and 2s into one background. Maybe some people wouldn't expect Pit 5, Pit 6, Pit 7. Yeah, I saw a UFO. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they're all here. Mm -hmm. Rockets, Santa Claus sled. God damn it. <laughs> I got him. There's gonna be a lot of kill stealing. Yeah, that's that's one thing about uh, multiplayer. Stop, stop. Yeah, uh, I remember. Fire, fire projectile at the moon. It works better if we're on the bridge when you do it, because we had okay. some trouble with that. Um when we were uh, play testing. I do remember this being kind of hard to get off correctly during original playthroughs. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to be up on the bridge, I think. Like, this is the last MK game that really had a shit ton of secrets going for it. There was stuff yeah. to find. And I've really missed that. Like, Armageddon wasn't, like all that good about that kind of thing. They just sort of like threw a bunch of stuff in your path and there it is. Go pick it up. Sometimes yeah. it was hidden. Most of the time, not really. But this one, you could do some digging by doing clever stuff. And now, Reptile Lies. Yes, you do. Yes, you fucking bitch, do. Bitch, you absolutely uh. do. That is your entire job. Oh. There, I hit him. I hit him. I think we did it. There we go. There it is. There it is. Concept. Woo! We get the. Yeah, okay. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Such satisfying wet splotches they make. You know, personally, personally for me, I think I like Reptile's costume in this game, but mm -hmm. I think it's the way it's modeled that bothers me because his like lips, his like little gum gum lips, like protrude out of the bandages, and it looks weird. <laughs> he has he has a lizard face. 
I don't think lizards have lips like that. You don't think he has that in Armageddon? Yeah, lizard, lizards don't have lips, so neither does Reptile. <laughs> and yes, he does look exactly the same in Armageddon. Probably a side effect of how blocky the models are. Alright. And we will execute many fatalities. Yes, yes, do combo, make number go up. Fills your, your fucking blood jar up in the corners. <laughs> Oh, he missed the coin in the back. In the back. Uh, yeah, it's behind a. It's behind a grate. There, you have to do a thing. Here we go. And uh, they were particularly proud of this one, and you can see why. They just brought this one back over and over again. Shaolin soccer, baby. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it says here to unlock uh, one of the red coins in the room is to uh, knock this throw guy up into the ceiling. Chandelier. Yeah, yeah, we have to we have to knock down the chandelier. So. I'll let him come to me. Yeah. Come on, come on, yeah. Poochie. Come on, buddy. No, bad Poochie. Oh, more over the there, there, there we go. Fire. <laughs> of course. Lovely. We will come back around for that second one, if I believe, if yeah, I remember yeah, right. There's a, there's a way around. The way the way to the second one is only available in multiplayer. There are some there are some yin yangs you can only get in two player. Yep. <laughs> because there's these platforms here, a green one and a white one, and we both have to stand on one to open a door. I actually have a memory of being so bothered by the fact that there was so much you could only get in co-op. And I had, like, maybe one friend available sometimes to play with me. I once game sharked this entire son of a bitch playing two players solo with infinite health. That's how desperate I was to get my all-secrets Jones in. See, I actually, uh... I had a girlfriend in 2004, so... <laughs> I've never known the touch of a lady. <laughs> nice. Now, how did I get that guy on that spike by throwing him sideways? <laughs> My turn. Yeah. The classic. <laughs> Man, look at that. Look at that meat. Delicious meat. I miss the PS2. We're gorgeous looking like steak. You know, nobody had to like look at a snuff film to figure out the insides of the body, alright? It, it was a better time. Maybe 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 graphics are too good now. Yeah, so uh Oh shit, one of the red coins here was to impale all enemies onto the ceiling spikes. Oh yeah. God oh, yeah, we, damn it! We, we can do it, we can do it, but uh... There's one. I don't know if anybody's been up... Yeah, these guys can like each fight each other. <laughs> There's one. I think there's a spike over here. There's quite a few spikes, actually. Well, some of La them. If it has to be out. all of them, we've already missed our chance. Uh, here's the thing: is that people will keep respawning until we break down this door. Oh. Look at me, I'm Shang Tsung. Blah. Here they come. Here they come. Yeah, it's the the question is like because I know we got somebody on that spike and that spike. Only three enemies spawn. This spike. See, there's like twenty fucking spikes. Those two are accounted for. Right, 
Here comes more dudes. Stop walking into the fire, for fuck's sake. Ah, that would've been cool. <laughs> I'll throw your garbage down here. There we go. More dudes. More du Shut up, Raiden! Yeah, I mean, which, which fucking spikes are... Like, be more specific. <laughs> Is it just all of them, or what? Like, there are clearly spikes up there that are directly next to each other because they're just decorative, okay? You can't knock people into every spike. Are there any spikes over here that we... Oh, yeah, th there's already a thing. But we need the double jump to get it. So yeah, we'll have to come back for that, but we can do this one over here, the two platforms. Why not? Um, let's see here, in the stalactite room. Step on the co-op switches in this ne in this next room, you will partner... I'm bad at reading things, uh... <laughs> okay, so we've just stepped on co-op switches. You will partner. <laughs> uh, in the next room, you and your partner will that need to hurl much an enemy at the last the time. Oh. We just did yeah, it. Yeah. Um, already knew that one. So, this will allow you to get the cage uh, coin seen in the chandelier room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, another thing about fatalities is if you're having trouble getting XP from combos, fatalities give you a lot of XP. And this is also where Kung Lao became a sociopath! <laughs> Balls hurt. Just not a person I like very much. Well, um, that you know fatality, what? That, that was fatality, a demon hell, all right? <laughs> that fatality is the reason why I'm a Mortal Kombat fan right now. You know what? That's very fair. It is fucking for cool. The, when, when it was in the... It was at the end of the E3 trailer for 9, and that was when I was like, Okay, I gotta play this. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, hey, Goro's Lair. Yeah, we got a stage. Ow. Oh, yeah. I know what that input means. It's dragon time. <laughs> That's the same button. Oh, his that hands are fucked up. They're demon hands. Don't worry about it. Delicious demon hands. Now they're gone, and you don't have to look at them anymore. <laughs> I like the I like the green smoke. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't mind it. Like, it was obviously uh, to cover up the fact that they couldn't do, like, a morphing transition in MK4 and from then on in the 3D stuff, but I actually like the way the green smoke looks. I don't remember it being in 4. Yeah. Yep. There was no uh, real morphing there. That, that one yeah, yeah. and uh, Scorpion's Fatality, they would just smoke into their animal. You know what, Raiden, if it'll shut you up. Yeah, yeah. He just broke apart like a puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we can go. We can move on from this. I'm tired of this room. <laughs> We've been here a while. It bores me.
every area of the game. All of them. Yes, yes. Every every single room has at least one. We should maybe right. s reco recover a little bit of health. Yeah, yeah. Be very nice. Now, the thing is, in single player, when you bow down to save your game at these altars, you get a full health bar back. In multiplayer, you only get a portion, but you can do it mul multiple times anyway, so why did they make us waste time? <laughs> uh, cause fuck you? I guess. That's <laughs> always why. Like so! Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Mmm, delicious that sucks. health. <laughs> why not abuse it? We do have to sit here and look do, at the, the... Do you think it's like a programming thing where, like, uh... You get a full health bar, but like once you're in second player, it like divides the amount of health it gets. No, I think they were just trying to. I, I think they were trying to make two player um, harder because you have the inherent advantage of two on one. Oh, did you see that? That was only like a little sliver. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it gets it gets less and less the the closer to full you are. That's stupid. It was probably bugged, and this was their fix. It's abusable, but not too abusable. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Um, when we go down there, you see there's a sword on that platform. I can theoretically land on that platform when I jump down. But if I don't pick up the sword quick enough, there's going to be a, a cinematic that plays, and then I'll be on the fucking ground instead of on the pillar when the cinematic's over. Pick it up. There you win go. this round. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got the sword, bitch. Fighty fight, boss, boss, fighty fight. Ugh. It calls to you. Oh god. That was an MK. That was not a good time for me. This guy is a bit of a problem. <laughs> but uh, look how much damage my sword's doing. <laughs> I got him. That was totally me. I landed the last blow, not you. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, in this room, uh, it says after defeating the boss, uh, long jump across the bridge. Yeah, yeah, we just, end... we just earned the long jump ability. Right, right, right. Uh, at the end, you'll see, or at the end, you'll need to do a long jump south onto oh. a small platform. Here's, a, here's an interesting <laughs> little glitch. The, the, the screen is yellow. That's not right. No, I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm no, this sorry, is not right at all. Gas. Yeah, yeah, we're we're being smoked out here. That's gonna make these jumps a little more oh, for God. difficult than they need to Who be. Who let Bull Wright show on the island? Fuck! I made it! I didn't. It's fine. God! Damn it! The uh, the fact that you respawn where your partner is saves you a God, lot it's... of trouble with these bad jump problems. Man, I can just let you like succeed for the, succeed for the both of us, can't I? Yeah. Yeah, teamwork, dreamwork, baby. Couldn't even see the bridge. Who got it? All right, who Someone got there? it. Oh! Nice. I'm not sure where I'm at. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Wait. there I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> this is great. Oh, God. I hate you, Shang Tsung. I hate you and your fucking island. <sighs> I swear, oh, this is so good. gas is not supposed to be here. <laughs> no, this is, this is... I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. Oh, my God. Wow, we're bad at this. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> bad at this. Yeah, it's a real shame that this game is 100% canon. <laughs> Small victories. Happens. Okay. Well, okay. No. Yeah. All right. Probably, My it, turn. It no. Me like diagonally when I'm trying to jump in a straight line. Oh there my god. Go. Yeah, the 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 depth perception and like uh perspective in this game is a little tough. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's why it was so hard to shoot the moon earlier. Yes! So we did it! And we got our secret from before, that one's down there, we got it. Yeah, yeah. And now it's... Oh man, we can't even see the lovely waterfall because of this fucking glitch. It's still yellow. <laughs> It'll, it's fine, it'll be fine. Only us, man, fucking only us! 
We'll come back here later. It'll be pretty again. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to see it again. I love the way the past guards fight this game. Yeah, there's actual mechanics to this game. You can't just deal with everybody the same way. Like, that move right there is so tight. <laughs> But what if I just did this? <laughs> oh, the smoke went away when you fucking did the fatality. Killing. Solves all your problems. Turning the screen black solved it right quick. Why the hell didn't he get that there as a fatality? That, I, that was great. It Look was at that portal that behaving like a portal. Look at this cool-ass <laughs> waterfall that we can see now. Yeah, yeah. All that lovely architecture in the background. Alright, so if you stand here, it'll gradually suck you towards it. Not me. <laughs> what is wrong with it's like, nothing's happening to me. <laughs> no effect. My hat makes me too cool for gravity. Whee! Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Long ago in the magic realm of Outworld. And uh Shadow now we're watching the journey begin. <laughs> we are. For all things dark. You know what I love about this entire cutscene? The blood he spilled. Brayden's weird, creepy baby face. Yeah, yeah, they, uh... I hate the way Brayden looks in this game. So there are two kinds of cutscenes in this game. Technically, there's three. There's in-game engine ones, and then there's pre-rendered ones. But there's two different, like, art styles to the pre-rendered ones. Like, they hired two different studios to work on the game. So there's the ones like the opening cinematic that look really good. Some fights only and then there's these less good ones where the character models don't even match the game. <laughs> you have ensured peace for Earth once again. Because Raiden, like, there there's no too much forehead, and his in-game model has like gold trim on his blue no robe. A champion alone. If one of us is in chains, none of us. Like are Luke Kang's hair is one different one here; it's tucked completely the under the bandana, but Luke his bangs stick out the rest of the game. Defeated the sorcerer Shang <laughs> no, that does not look good. Bangless no, Luke Kang no, is no, fucking weird. No, this is a mistake. Evil. This is a you mistake now. Realms It'll be a mistake in MKX hero. with his old man look. I, Thank you, I'm pretty Master sure his bangs are mostly tucked under the headband in 12, and that's a mistake. It never looks right. My ancestors that are honored. Shut up, Kung Lao. Sonya Blade, you were a warrior. <laughs> Every time he opens his damn mouth. Against enemies beyond Earth's measure. Thank you, Master Raiden. Is this the only like chief officer? Big speech to. justifying the participation trophies. If one of us wins, then all of us win. Future mission. <laughs> Sir. Wait for it. Johnny Cage. Lay it on me, Raiden. <laughs> He's weird. Despite your mental shortcomings, you the thought bubble goes ugh. Ally against He's like, hold it in. Don't you say it. Of Don't say it. <laughs> His natural shortcomings. Yeah. Master. Ah. Chewbacca, we didn't forget about you. Family honor <laughs> not this is not time. one in a single day. <laughs> It is one all the days. Why does he get up? He wasn't even in, in the tournament. <laughs> you snuck in. There is not a warrior here that would have survived if you had not warned them of the traps in Goro's lair. That's not true. Johnny and Sonya weren't in Goro's lair. <laughs> it was just as well. me and you. Some version of MK1's events happened. It just involved Kung Lao. Yeah. For the moment, you have earned rest. Enjoy the peace you will find walking these grounds. Release the cherry blossoms. <laughs> well, guys, thank you for tuning into our playthrough of Shaolin Monks. Yes. We have a Patreon. <laughs> like and subscribe. This has been Mortal Kombat 1. Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh, wait. There's more. <laughs> so much more. Yay! Fire! No one keeping watch, huh? Not a single person. Nope, nope.
nations are poison to our world. Who, who would ever attack during the ceremony? Who could have realm. seen that coming? <laughs> what kind of dishonorable villains would ever imagine? Couldn't be me. <laughs> no idea. Oh, I can't go back in. Nope, that's blocked off. I'll try tossing some weapons. <laughs> so, I believe that this was the first time we ever actually got to explore Wuxi Academy at all in any great detail. Was this not the point where it was actually named? Uh, it, it's called... So, Wuxi Academy was introduced in Deadly Lions. Was it? Yeah. Ah, yes, time, yes. But... There was no indication that Wuxi and the Shaolin Temple were the same place in there. Now, there's an interesting detail. Uh, there's a screen later on where we'll be able to see um, the actual Wuxi Academy stage from MKDA in the background of one of these maps. Ah, that was it. But but it's God under damn it. construction. Like, the... The... the the canvas being strung up over the pit by the five statues hasn't been built yet. So they were thinking about, like, timeline stuff. In some small way. Which I think is a neat detail. Like, I think it's more interesting if the Wuxi Academy isn't built until the 3D era. Rather than... Oh, uh, there it was! Did you hear it? In Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. Yep, yeah. So if you hit down and start when the announcer says Toasty, you get more XP. Oh god! Oh god, it's all falling on me. <laughs> wait, wait. Are you okay? Let's keep going. <laughs> That's a badass looking Tarkat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is this is the first time we see these Tarkat designs with the uh the bondage harnesses, which I like. <laughs> There we go. How do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. I see you trying to fatality. Ha! Nice. Ah, that's a secret. <laughs> Alright, watch out. Yep. Want it? Right, Need it? We have to catapult somebody through that barricade. Can do, Chief. First. Hang on. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Man, he just <laughs> fell apart. Yeah, yeah. Those should not have had that effect, but they did. He's a he's a Lego man. What's happening here? Uh, the camera is a little finicky in that spot. You've got a date with fire. There you are. That move never kills anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Pacifist Liu Kang. <laughs> Which one are you? Oh, this is just sadistic. <laughs> she tries to run away, and you're like, nope. Just a little bit of anger to work out. I mean, on the other hand, you did spare him life as a cripple. Like, no arms is really, really rough. Like, what if you have an itch? You know? <laughs> I yeah. would never want to live without it, both hands. Also, to be fair, about right now is where I would say it's in character if I'm not allowed to do that to a Tarkat. That's true. Yeah, he does have a bit of anger right now. The, uh, they're attacking the fucking temple here. Excellent. Got it. Alright, now we can go back. It's over there, though. We'll find out. Just going back to go pick back up a thingamadoodle. Okay. Okay.
don't know how you get that red one over there. Uh, we have to go around. It's the other way. Okay. I sure am glad you remember all this shit. It's been years for me. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot easier on me too. These guys are gonna spawn forever. Excellent. I just really wanted to do that. <laughs> I do like the idea that Shang is, like, making portals for individuals, like, every time a guy dies and he sends a new one in, one at a time. <laughs> it seems like a waste of magic. Oh, God! Ah, oh, that was a mistake. We looked so cool for just a moment. Took that guy out. Oh, that'd be hit. so funny if you did it a third time. That yeah, was almost this is, embarrassing. This is the one that we saw before in the background. This stage is like a U-shape. I don't know why I'm jumping to where you are half the time when I could just teleport. <laughs> why am I doing that to myself? What a, what a peaceful koi pond. <laughs> I'm sure Delicious koi. <laughs> oh, I love this bit. No, not again. First of all, the voice acting is impeccable. <laughs> That's the fifth dead monk in the last five minutes. And it happened again! <laughs> hey, she did the pink rings, mostly off screen. <laughs> it's a nice gesture. Now watch watch this. And look you should be dead. Ah! She's fucking dead. Look at all that strawberry jam. <laughs> God damn! What wound did that even come out of? <laughs> this is just but the first of many instances of things that should really kill ya. Not quite? Hey, it's Johnny. Johnny is so cool. Yeah, this it's is just the first game where Johnny says you got caged. Like, this is the one that invented that catchphrase. Yeah, like, I really feel like this I game gave us so much. I personally believe that is the single greatest contribution any game has ever made to Johnny's character. Like, unironically, <laughs> that catchphrase makes the difference between Bland and Johnny. <laughs> like, those are $500 sunglasses, asshole, and let's dance. They're not bad lines. You got caged as peak Johnny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that delivery is so good. What's in here? We cannot leave this area. Okay, yeah, there's there's a plot that we, it's gonna make us do. Okay. It's a, can I can I pick up the No? I can. Come on. It's very sensitive about where it wants you to stand to get it. There we go. Now I have a plank of wood. <laughs> now I have a plank of wood. Let's have planks of wood together. Important. What's that green shit back there? Uh, souls. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see what this one does. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The slow-mo Matrix shit. Yeah. Famous pacifist Liu Kang. <laughs> They're both a little angry right now. It's okay. Bitch, <laughs> be breaking my combos. We probably have enough XP to level something up. Let's uh, let's see here. Uh, I got special moves. I can shoot two fireballs. 
the the uppercut upgrade never really works the way you'd think it's supposed to. I could get the bicycle kick. You know you want the bicycle kick. Get the bicycle kick. That shit's yeah, mandatory. I'll, I'll get the bicycle kick. What else? Uh, it's a throw upgrade. I guess I don't have enough for a uh, combo. Let's do two fireballs. Trilogy style. What do I got? Hmm, no. Maybe. Yeah, it's not bad. That was pretty good. Almost definitely. Yeah, I know what I want. Yeah, yeah, the hat ones are good. Although if you had enough for combo upgrade, I think the best upgrade in the game is the one that gives you more dive kicks. Because mm. that's that's most of your combo potential right there, is to just dive kick over and over and over again forever. Look at all this stuff we don't have to spend a dime on, because we got cheats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. That was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you missed me, bitch. <laughs> Just How did you get no way over there so fast, Johnny. There you are. <laughs> oh, that didn't look jank at all. That's just gonna be my answer to everything from now no, on. It's fine. It's fine. God damn it. Now why did my shackles knock Johnny away? Look at that, look at that. That's dumb. That's dumb. <laughs> now, one thing we haven't mentioned that I really appreciate is that it's most of the attacks are using classic MK2. What sound the fuck? Oh, there's so much of that going on. Yes. Announcers and shit. The my my throws. The Ziggy Go Lick it is in here. <laughs> Even Johnny's force balls were. Yeah. Harukan. <laughs> I like that one. Nice and simple. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Set him on fire, then kick straight through him. Good. Why does Johnny know so much about the workings of the Shaolin temples, like traps and drawbridges? <laughs> Savant. <laughs> oh, shit. It's oh. time. Look what I got. Hello, <laughs> bunny. <laughs> Yes. I, I would love so much for that to be in a modern game. Bunny's fine, by the way. Yeah, no, the bunny took it. The bunny, the bunny is the strongest Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> it's got more endurance than fucking Mataro. Projectiles just bounce right off. <laughs> oh, you want us to go this way? Okay. <laughs> we can make that happen. The music in this game is really good. Oh, it so is. Like, this is this is some good stuff right here, but like, once you start getting into the armory and the wastelands, it's just chef's kiss shit, man. It's beautiful. The, the boss theme is my favorite in the game. The unique reptile boss theme, the snake one, that's the one I really love. <laughs> it's okay, Johnny. They oh. <laughs> all just pop on him. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, what's this? Health upgrade. Excellent. Very nice. 
That's my broadsword. Oh well. Well, I could throw it at somebody and then we can trade. <laughs> nah. I actually really like these commas. Yeah, the the, cut, the double weapons are really fun. All right, I think I think we're supposed to uh, come this way with our weapons. Because the, the camera said so. <laughs> Gotta do what the camera says. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Alright, now we uh cut these ropes and shit. This'll end well. Yeah, yeah, this <laughs> Don't fuck with the Shaolin Temple, son. <laughs> with a Bruce Lee punch to tip it. <laughs> now, now we're Dialing just showing off. Him. That's that's a pure flex. <laughs> ah, the the nose wipe, the classic Bruce Lee nose wipe. Uh. All right, now I believe we can actually go through that door we unlocked before. Yeah, here we go. Here's another room you only see in multiplayer. Which is why I have no memory of it. Very Which curious. is a shame, because it's kind of nice looking. Like, we're in the middle out here. We've got a... Uh, we're going to have to come back. This is another double jump one. Wow. Dag nabbit. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. That looks interactable. You're interactable. Mm, Thank you. I think for display. Yeah. Excellent. Look at this the great Deku tree. <laughs> this really looks like an exit, but it is in fact not at all. No, no, this is just there's there's no that's not a door, it's just a carved out nook. Actually I wonder. No, probably not. Nah, I don't I don't think so. It's a tricky one. Another time. Another day. Yeah. There's there's two that you make they make you come back for a lot of times and one of them is the the fist of ruin which breaks statues that yep. are blocking your yeah path. I remember the yep. fist of ruin is like the key to half the unlockable shit in this game yeah. that's how you get to the Ermac fight that's in this level mm -hmm. I think it's in this level right it is uh, yeah yeah there's a there's a statue blocking. Uh, the path to the warrior shrine, which they decided to put in the Shaolin Temple instead of yeah. on Sun Island. Weird. I always did find it pretty odd, but I guess even at the time they were like, how did Shang build all these statues of these people? <laughs> Shaolin would do it to honor them. It's why not would like Shang? he's the one who invited everybody and knew who was going to be there or anything. Not at all. <laughs> Look at him levitate. See, look look how much forehead is not showing in this version <laughs> of the outfit. <laughs> this is Dragon Ball explosion. God damn. Well, I wonder how long we'll be on Namek for. Yeah, right? <laughs> Now, I God think damn it. there might be a way to, like, throw a guy onto these spikes and then jump yeah. up there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. We gotta do another one. I don't know if we can get them high enough, because the thing is, you can, when you get the, um... I seem to remember this one being a massive to, pain in the ass. When, when you get the ability to swing on things, you can swing off this tree branch up here and get it that way. That's probably how it's intended to be done. Yeah. But there there is a way you can cheese it and get up there now. I do remember doing it. I don't know if we want to work that hard and lose all oh, that health. Because it's spikes, you know? We're getting our asses kicked. <laughs> it wasn't even... I wasn't even next to that. Yeah, you were. I saw it. Don't you tell me my business. <laughs> Mother f Eat it. 
he's Where'd gone. he go? <laughs> just did not land. Yeah, no, he's he's just gone. Now, the th mm, I know what we're supposed to do. Yeah, uh, we, yes, we that's our. The way we came. I do like these infinite battles going on in the background between Tarkads and monks. There's stakes. Now, the question is. No. No, no, I don't think it's gonna happen. No, not today. This is hard to get back up on. Come on, there we go. <laughs> it's very sensitive. And you call yourself the Mortal Kombat Champion! Hey man, it wasn't a jumping puzzle, I just beat a guy up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, the fire and stop! <laughs> the finest of Shaolin action. <laughs> Oh man, I'm having so much okay. fun, you guys. I'm having so much fun. So, um, hmm? in this part of the level is where you unlock Johnny Cage for versus mode. Okay. The, the question is, is it it's... in this part of that? Oh, look, these guys run around on fire. We got. Oh play. yes. <laughs> the and only by... thing you can do for them is finish them. Off. <laughs> yep. Our poor Shaolin brothers. Otherwise, uh, they'll, they'll keep running into us on fire. This is just a game, do, just a game of target practice. That's all it is. What you gotta do is you gotta actually like open up all the water switches to uh, put all the flames out first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Ah, the first of these. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I feel like I heard you smack a controller in celebration. <laughs> you have to put some force behind it. How many archers are back there? Too many. God damn it. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, that one's gone. God damn it. Uh. Where's the next one? It was up on top. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go this way. Oh, come on. <laughs> What the uh, fuck was that kind of that jank? It, it couldn't decide whether I was on my the turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, my yeah, turn. Yeah, you can get this one. You can get this one. <laughs> he's, not, he's not gonna do it. I should be in the Mortal Kombat tournament. It's all about me. Do it. Look at that. You Look at me. What about my ancestors? My ancestors. <laughs> <laughs> Great Kung Lao can do that. I bet he could. No, you can. Great Kung Lao was a huge dude. He was a real beefy guy. I bet he could do that. <laughs> it's something only I can do. I'm Kung Lao. Minimum -min limited. -min -min -min. I'm even greater. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna throw this guy over there. <laughs> but you can't do it. I tried to do a fatality. <laughs> Just every time he opens his mouth, it's what happens. Why is there a statue of like a shadow yeah. priest right over there? That is that is the question. Yeah, these are, these are <laughs> that, the that's not rules. right. I think like the <laughs> yeah, it's filled with evil energy. Like Shang has put these here to get, stop us. <laughs> oh it's like god. Some of the statues. Okay, so you're going to want to go back. Oh wait, no, you're yeah. not. Done. Just your mind. Yeah, there's there's more. I really do like that they took the time to re-record every single classic outstanding yeah, see, superb with the new you voice see on announcer. The right there, if you see on the right there, that's where the Wuxi Academy stage is being built. See we've got all this construction ah, going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I wish that, that is really out. neat. 
acknowledge that when they like do remakes and shit. Instead of just always setting scenes at the, the Deadly Alliance stage. Oh, come on! <laughs> I got you, buddy! Oh god, I'm actually down here! Fuck! <laughs> Thank you. you can't teleport! It's my move! What are the logistics of Kung Lao's teleport anyways, man? Uh, the magic hat. He throws the hat where he wants to go. And he can either bring the hat to him, or he can bring himself to the hat. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like the original, like flying oh, up into the air and then. Just oh, there were none. Out there were ground. none. Don't worry about it. There were none. We are the future, Charles, not them. <laughs> yes, the <laughs> mutants are the future. <laughs> Look, Charles, this one can disappear and reappear <laughs> wherever he throws his hat to. Shouldn't he be president? <laughs> The next Mortal Kombat in the tournament oh, will have a black hole for a brain. <laughs> what is that? It's fucked up. Did you see that? Uh, yes, I did. That was not up there when we were up there. Let's go get that thing up there. That's bothering okay. me. That it's up there. So we're, yeah, go go on, on top of the one with the spike ball on top. Oh, do we have to? We have to go all the way around. Oh no, there it is. I got it. Easy. There, go. there we are. All right, I think we just go back the way we came now. All right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Because we don't have the Fist of Ruin. We can't get rid of that statue. Uh, here, here's another cutscene in the ugly art style. <laughs> sneak, sneak, Where sneak. Ew. Everybody has giant foreheads. <laughs> Now, Gasp! How did get away from Raiden. How did that happen? Do you trust me? Well, I did until you asked that. <laughs> Listen to my words as you continue what? your exercises. Christ. You will need to remember That's them. That's not later. suspicious at all. Shang Tsung is not as defeated as we had Ew. hoped. I faced him while you fought the attacking mutants. More, I believe he now defies the Elder Gods themselves. He but is not as not defeated as we had hoped. Scum had hey, uh, so Raiden, we're doing something here. With his defeat, Why are we sparring in the middle of an attack? Like, there's still Tarkatans and stuff. To you ...and take his vengeance. This will make him reckless and more dangerous than ever. I had hoped you would have time to heal your wounds in the tournament. I, I had hoped I was you would do something mistaken. about your you must giant go to baby face. We must take the battle there if we <laughs> he are looks to like save Robocop her. with the I helmet really off. The <laughs> but rest is Everyone a luxury afforded only ugly. to the dead. Of course, He's a I little messed up. <laughs> that is half of this game. What do you say? Half beautiful, of course. half what the fuck. <laughs> take the portal to Outworld. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Well, Kung Lao looked like he was suffering from an allergic reaction. Hey, did you see that green? That green there? there that Very thing? subtle. I wonder I don't what, get that. What does Raiden? that mean? Maybe Raiden's magic is not green. <laughs> maybe he's sick. Yeah, maybe. Hey, what happened to Shang Tsung? He was sneaking around trees and then Raiden showed up. Come on! <laughs> I don't get it. Can someone please explain it to me? Maybe later. Okay. I'll when tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like how it instantly explodes the tar cottons, though. That does work! There you go. Get fucked. <laughs> oh. God damn it! I think there's honestly like some kind of parsec lag or latency or something. Nah, mm. skill issue. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Lee! Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's 
tight. That's tight. Why don't they bring that one back? Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> and then we... <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Raiden. It's okay. So the real Raiden oh. is around, it's not just Shang. <laughs> <laughs> so where was Raiden when Shang was pretending to be him just now? Don't know, but we're not gonna see him for a long time. Yeah, yeah. It's uh it's mostly Shang going forward. Raises remember, a lot right? of questions. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much every time we see him. I think the next time we see the real Raiden will be when Jax shows up. Yeah, that's, um, that's a ways off. Yeah, yeah, it's like the last level of the game. <laughs> Shang I wonder why that is. Hmm. Good to know. Why do you need to offer us things? Why are you constantly trying to prove we can trust you? You're Raiden. <laughs> right? <laughs> it is really hard to gauge what's weird plot fuckery and what's just... This game's nonsense. I just... So many questions. Okay, so... So Johnny followed us, like, less than a minute after we went through. So if we stand here for like 30 seconds, do you think Johnny Cage will come out? <laughs> I somehow doubt that very much. No, no, it's not going to happen. Master Raiden, if I am to die here, then it will be for the honor of my family. Shut up! God, nobody asked! <laughs> <laughs> My powers are weaker here. You can tell because I'm crackling with power. I dare not attract his attention and therefore endanger you. Yes, Master Raiden. And should you encounter Sonya Blade in this realm, be cautious. This place changes even the most honorable of warriors. She may no longer be a friend. You may want to consider turning on everyone that you trust. Yeah, yeah. Being an outworld definitely makes people evil, and you should never, never yep. trust your friends if they're here. However, I think that's where we cut it off for the day. Yeah, yeah, I think that's no. gonna be it. <laughs> and it's appropriate, though, because we're home. Uh, we will, I think, have to see that cutscene again when we start next time, because the save was at the other end True. of the portal. <laughs> True. I just wanted to give our viewers a taste of things to come. Yes, yes, look at look at this shit. This is so This is nice. You're you're gonna hear me drooling about a lot of scenery upcoming, man, because this game is the best outworld ever looked. Bar none. The I way like, the, like, the way it feels is perfect. I like the debris flying into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that's a nice touch. That wasn't even in MK2, but it's it adds something, you know? <sighs> this... yeah, stuff is actually getting sucked in. It's not nothing frustrates me more than the fact that in like more recent games portals are just like this this 2d plane you walk through like the portals in the game portal whereas like mortal kombat portals are supposed to be a tornado on its side you know it's a big tunnel and it sucks you in and shit a vortex a tornado an aberration an event horizon a fucking event itself yeah yeah look at look at all this this ruin going on all this shit flying in there. It just makes this place feel unwholesome and decaying and tattered and broken. That's how Outworld should feel. Like, atmospherically speaking, stuff like this is why the portal is, like, actually my, my single favorite stage in the entire franchise. It's and it, definitely up there for me, too. The, the MK2 portal hasn't even been in an NRS-era game. That fucking sucks, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, lest we get too wistful. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we will uh, begin exploring the realm of Outworld next week. Uh, look forward to that. See you later, nerds. Look what I can do! <laughs> Have a good one, folks. <laughs>